talking about another post talking about her. Look. What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here and today we are back with another video. In this video, this is actually a how to collect video, but this is actually for the series of Attack on Titan. Now I know a lot of you guys have been asking if I've read Attack on Titan, if I've watched Attack on Titan, or if I'm going to collect Attack on Titan because a lot of you guys see my manga collection videos and y'all ask generally, where's Attack on Titan at? And don't worry guys, don't worry, I love Attack on Titan. I watched most of the anime up to season 4 part 1 and then I read the rest of the manga up to the end and um well the ending it's an ending <laughs> that's all i can say it's an ending i read it live on stream it's actually on my second channel so if you guys want to check that video out go ahead i'll leave a link in the description down below but nonetheless i have not collected attack on titan yet because i was kind of you know i was kind of waiting I was being a little patient, as you should as a collector, and I was waiting to see if they was gonna come out with a hardcover edition of Attack on Titan, especially with the Omnibus version that was leaked months ago, which actually turned out to be just a regular paperback Omnibus, just like the Shaman King volumes. But so I was waiting for a hardcover version, and I thought to myself, if I can't get a hardcover version, then I'm definitely gonna go just for the singles, because I'm not gonna go for the Omnibus, because it's an Omnibus, and I generally don't really like Omnibuses unless I have to get it, if that's the only way I could get the series. And I don't wanna get the Colossal Edition. Now, while it might look great on the shelf at the bottom of the shelf it's probably gonna be a real big pain to read and plus i never see those things in mint condition but before we get into the video before we get started i gotta say if you are new to the channel you have not already and you want to join broke boy gang go ahead hit the subscribe button post notification bell and leave a like if this video does become helpful to you guys as well and guys don't forget to follow me on all my other social media platforms in case you gotta ask me more questions in the dms or if you want to join some of my communities over on other social media platforms all my links will be in the description down below so Let's get into it. So as of right now, while I'm recording this video, and probably by the time this video comes out, there is four ways that you can actually collect Attack on Titan. There's the singles that you could just buy with just the regular paperback. You could buy literally just a single volume of Attack on Titan. You could buy it in a box set like I have, and I'll explain why I bought it in the box set later, but you could buy it in the box set, and while the box set isn't actually a big box set like Viz, they actually pieced it up just like seasons or parts of the season, which is kind of stupid on Kodansha's part. I don't know why they did it. It's a money grab, but I just hate that Kodansha did that. You could buy the Omnibus version, which is coming out later on this year, which are three-in-ones essentially, and generally, I really wouldn't go for that. And then we have the Colossal Editions, which are really big volumes. They remind me of the size of the Berserk Omnibuses, but they're basically five-in-ones, and honestly, for the deal that you get, I believe it retails for about $49.99 but if you really go on Amazon, you're never gonna buy manga for retail, so you could definitely get it for below $49.99. But I also wouldn't recommend that because honestly, they are mostly not in mint condition every time I see them. But the page quality is cool. The page quality is cool. But guys, I will give you all my pros and all my cons for each of these things. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, generally with the singles, which I'm kind of collecting as it is, the singles, honestly, to me, look the best on the shelf where it comes to actually collecting a manga. Unless I can get a hardcover version of that manga, the single is the next version I'm going to get. And honestly, I do like to have singles. Singles are definitely more optimal when it comes to my collecting because, as you can see, most of these <laughs> volumes right behind me are singles, so I really don't have a problem with buying singles. I really don't like omnibuses. While omnibuses do help you save space, they're usually like thinner paper quality, and if you actually put three singles on top of an omnibus, the three singles are actually thicker than the omnibus itself. And another pro with the single is the fact that you can actually get most of these singles in a bundle deal, or you can get them in a lot, or you could go on right stuff. You could probably buy a whole bunch of them at a reduced price, or on a whole bunch of other anime uh, merch selling websites. You could just buy them at a really reduced price. Now, I will say, obviously, most of the other routes might be a cheaper way of getting all these volumes, but Honestly, when it comes to the singles, I just like the appeal and the look of it the most. Also, I will say with a con with the singles, you're gonna have to actually go ahead and hunt for those singles. So if there's one out of stock, like severely out of stock, you're gonna be waiting a while to go get that volume. But honestly, a lot of it's actually restocking, especially with the new season coming out soon and the new box set coming out later on this year as well. Next thing to go for is the actual box sets of Attack on Titan. Now I will say with the box sets of Attack on Titan, I honestly think that they're pretty stupid if you buy them at retail. Now most of them retail for the exact same price as if you were buying the actual single volumes. Now, the only incentive to really buy the box set is if you want the box set on your shelf for a little aesthetic look, or if you could get it for a reduced price on Amazon, like I said, get it for a reduced price on Amazon, that way you're not paying full retail for the uh, box set, and you can actually get it at a reduced price, so that way you can actually get it at a deal. And to be real with y'all, the box set's art, 
really isn't all that to be running home about you get what i'm saying like i think viz box sets are just phenomenal when it comes to box sets kodansha they just love the milk series they literally make season one part one then season two part two like you get what i'm saying like they make parts of the season rather than just a whole season all together so they kind of like to milk the series and there's really no great incentive for you to get it especially like i said since they're selling it for retail at how much the actual volumes cost itself now some of the box sets for attack on titan they actually do come with a short story but I honestly don't think it's worth it unless you're like a super huge fan of Attack on Titan. I think that these box sets are honestly for your collector's collector. Like that guy that just really loves a collect, that likes to have the limited edition stuff. And if you're a really huge fan of Attack on Titan, that's the only reason I advise getting the box set basically. Get it at a reduced price and not at retail. And if you're a collector, because collectors just like to have certain things like me <laughs> next way to collect attack on titan is honestly the colossal editions now the one upside about collecting the colossal editions it's five volumes in one i hardly see them actually sell out and honestly the page quality is super fire i gotta say that the page quality is super sick but i do have some cons when it actually comes to the actual colossal editions generally the colossal editions since they're five and ones they actually charge 49.99 for retail so if you go into barnes and nobles or anything like that you're definitely going to be paying the exact prices if you're paying for the actual singles itself also the colossal editions aren't even hard covers now if you give me a five and one especially that type of size do like dark horse did with the omnibuses for berserk and make them hardcover or make them leatherback something cool to make it actually stand out but generally they call it the colossal edition because obviously the titans and the colossal titan and you know they're big and things like that but you guys should get the point if you've watched attack on titan or read attack on titan but generally the books are super huge i'm pretty sure that they're super uncomfortable to read i've actually held one in my hand and i didn't really like the way that it felt so that's actually another con is that it's very uncomfortable to actually read now like i said the page quality is fire but that's not enough for me to pay 49.99 for five volumes in one single book and think about that spine <laughs> Think about that spine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that right there for your interpretation. Think about that spine. But I will say in general, if you do go ahead and buy the Colossal Edition, definitely go on Amazon, definitely go on Right Stuff, definitely go on another site that actually doesn't charge retail for these things, because then you can get a pretty good deal on basically five volumes in one volume. But that's if you want it. But plus, if you get a five in one, you definitely can't put it like at the top of your shelf, because then it's gonna create Boeing on your shelf in general. So you got to put it at the bottom. So if you want it as a centerpiece, I think it would look better as a centerpiece rather than you actually reading it so i feel like the colossal edition itself is only really for the collectors collector you get what i'm saying and last but not least we actually have the three in one which is the omnibus version of attack on titan now this bad boy is going to retail for 19.99 so essentially you're paying for two volumes for three volumes you get what i'm saying so i think that's a pretty good steal but honestly when it comes to kodansha making omnibuses let's look back at the shaman king omnibus look how thick that bad boy is are you dead ass ed bowie it's 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 not good so imagine putting three volumes like i said earlier on top of an omnibus literally the omnibus will be thinner than the three volumes so obviously they're using cheaper quality paper and obviously i don't think the spine is really going to hold up over time if you do multiple read-throughs of this series itself and also it's not a hardcover what, what is up with them not, not doing hardcover attack, attack on titan, titan volumes now i know that they're doing a hardcover compilation of the best chapters but who wants that i mean i'm gonna buy that but who was asking for that really who was asking for that? Kodansha literally likes to milk some of their series to the fullest and not give the fans what they actually want. <clears throat> Tokyo Revengers. And this is where I put a trophy. If I had one! Only reason you should get the Omnibus, honestly, is if you want a quick way to actually read Attack on Titan, a quick way to actually collect Attack on Titan, a cheaper means of collecting Attack on Titan, and, like I said earlier, if you want to save space, because those 3-in-1 volumes are generally thinner than the actual 3 volumes itself. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, I've been wanting to make this because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to collect Attack on Titan, and yeah, I'm going to collect it in the box set as long as it comes at a reduced price itself, because I do want the singles, I like to look at the singles, and and some of the box sets, I, I guess I could put them somewhere with a display if I ever get an Attack on Titan statue itself. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, you have not already, go ahead, like the video, and share the content. Hit the subscribe button, post notification bell. And I got to give a huge shout out to my Patreon pledgers for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. Guys, I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me, financially donating on Patreon. And I got to give a huge shout out to the YouTube members as well, because they are also financially donating on the YouTube side. So I got to say, those two groups of people deserve the biggest Darks hate that I can give them. And huge shout out to bro boy because i already know they came through they saw the notification they already liked the video right before the video actually started while the ad was playing so i gotta say i really highly appreciate those three groups of people gotta say thank you guys for watching dark sage out peace